Hi everybody, Dr. Shadi Arafich here, board certified surgeon, to the specialty and part owner of True Care for Pets. Uh, we're here in Studio City, Los Angeles, and we're gonna talk about what to do if your dog gets hit by a car. So Rico here uh, was unfortunately hit by a car today, a few hours ago. He's doing quite well, but this is a very common scenario that we see here at True Care for Pets. So I wanna give you some basic guidelines as far as what to do in a scenario where your pet gets hit by a car. First thing first, most important, safety. So you wanna make sure, even though it's a very dramatic experience um, and you're very worried for your pet, make sure you're in a safe place. So if you see your pet get hit by a car, before you run out to the street to go and catch them, please make sure you look both ways. Just follow the basic instructions for crossing any street. You don't wanna put yourself at unnecessary risk. That's number one. Number two is of course, your pet's gonna be in shock, just like you would be if you had major trauma. And so you wanna make sure that when you go to pick up your pet, you pick them up carefully. You don't know if there are broken bones, if the spine is okay, you don't know what kind of bleeding is going on, and plus your pet's probably gonna be in pain. And so some pets will inadvertently try and bite you because they're in pain, and understandably so. So you wanna make sure, as, as scary as the whole scenario is, that you, you take it easy with them, and make sure that when you try to pick them up, maybe you have somebody there to help you, maybe you can even, even put them like on a blanket and carry them on a blanket into the house or into your car before you take them to the veterinary office. And that way you make sure that you don't, you don't uh, uh, accidentally hurt them or they don't accidentally hurt you, you know, just out of, just out of uh, trying to protect themselves. Um, and then of course from there, you wanna get to the veterinary office. You wanna try and, and obviously drive efficiently, but you don't wanna put yourself in any danger. You wanna obey the traffic laws. Don't, don't drive like a crazy person. Get there as fast as you can. It doesn't do any dogs like Rico any good if you get into an accident and you hurt yourself or, um, or hurt, your, uh, hurt your pet in the process. So it's just, it's just not worth the risk. So make sure you drive safely. Um, if you're able to, have somebody call the veterinary office for you if you know where you're gonna go and have them let them know that you're coming in with a pet that's been hit by a car, you don't know how major it is, but of course you're worried and that way they can have their staff ready for you. So a lot of times if we know a patient is coming here with an emergency, just like what Rico experienced today, we try to get everything ready. We get the IV catheters in place, right? We try to get the IV fluids going. We try to make sure we can have um, equipment out to get blood work and make sure we have our extra machine ready. That way we can do all the tests that we need to do to figure out um, how the pet, how your pet was, there you go baby, how your pet was injured during the trauma. Um, the more we know, the more you can tell us, the better prepared we can be for use when you come by. It doesn't matter whether you're coming in the middle of the daytime or at three o'clock in the morning or on a major holiday. Um, hospitals like True Care for Pets in Studio City Los Angeles were always open and ready to help, help you and your pet. Once you get to the office, um, as long as you, if you told them ahead of time that you're gonna be there, then usually they'll have staff waiting for you. And so we'll bring out a gurney, We'll bring out a muzzle just to protect the staff from, from any inadvertent injuries from your pet. And we'll carefully place them on a gurney, roll them into the hospital so we can start our diagnostics and make sure that we are starting life-saving measures. And then of course from there, the veterinarian will assess the pet and kind of go over with you what a medical and a financial plan will look like to take care of your pet during this tragic time. Um, from there, of course, they're in good hands. And so whatever it is that you can do, uh, both emotionally and financially, take care of your pet, uh, hospitals like ours will try to work with you and try to get you through the whole the whole scenario to make sure that dogs like Rico can can enjoy uh, enjoy life once again. Trauma to your pet can be anything from minor to major, and it's up to the veterinarian to figure all that out. And so they're going to recommend a variety of tests, everything from blood work to x-rays. They're going to recommend hospitalization, observation, fluids, antibiotics, pain medication, all different kinds of therapies that you can imagine to try and take care of your pet during this tragic time. And then once, once your pet's in good hands, we'll take care of the rest, you know? We'll keep you up to date on what's going on with the pet, how they're doing. Rico here was uh, very, very lucky. Despite being hit by a car, he has no internal damage. He does have um, a, a pretty significant wound on his paw here, but so far it does not require any surgery. So he has a bandage in place with a splint to help protect him. And then his other paw here has a small, has a small wound on it that'll heal up over time. He got very, very lucky. And his parents were able to take care of him. He's gonna go home here soon and hopefully he'll, he'll make a full recovery. Let us know if you have any questions or concerns at all. We hope this video helped you out with what to do if your pet gets hit by a car. Again, this is Dr. Shadi Arafich, board certified surgeon, part owner, chief of specialty at True Care for Pets. Thank you so much, and we'll talk to you next time.